let's see. So I pulled this out. And I think there might be some issues that I have to solve. Unfortunately. Okay. A super suit is hard to put together. And it can fall apart pretty easily. Um, let's get some light. Okay. So, just an overview. Uh, there's the screen. Um, these orange things are tubings that go to the uh, web canisters in the backpack. Um, this is the left web shooter. It only shoots fluid. This is the right web shooter. It has um, one hole for, for fluid right there and one uh, um, that is an electromagnetic shooter. I've got to paint over those numbers too. Um, this is the grappling motor so it can easily grapple. Um, if you want to switch from grapple mode to um, the string extends mode, that's how you do it. Simple like that. Um, it's the glove. Um, FSR is built into the glove. And a trigger in the center there. It's the same on the other side. Um, there's a look at the chest. Uh, this padding, orange padding, is a little thicker. Um, and blue padding is also there. Everything is two layers of Kevlar, so the blue is two layers of Kevlar and the orange is two layers of Kevlar. And then there's also two layers of Kevlar under the black. So that's six in total. Probably not enough to stop a bullet, but probably enough to protect against some stabbing. But if I am getting involved with bullets, I think I might be going too far anyway. All right. All right, so back here. All right, so left, um, button. All right, so that's working. Um, setting. Okay, here. So that's also working. But I think this other one, I think the right side, I think it might be broken. I have a feeling that it's the FSR because it's not making any noise even though this is on. Which means I can't reel in this projectile. Alright. So, when you open up the pack and inside, this is what you've got. You've got an inlet for one type of web formula and another type of web formula. Um, tubes and wires, things all messed up, and then there's foam padding here. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is test the resistance of this resistor, which comes all the way back here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have it labeled in here with an it should be an R F P or R F. Maybe just R F. I'm gonna start documenting this right now. Um, so the first one is left F S R, then right F S R then left button, then right button, and those... Dude, I can't even remember my own work. Oh my god. Those share... So this is the FSR. That goes to the positive. Button also goes to the positive. So I believe they're sharing positive. They're connected here, right there, so those two are connected, um, because that is the, the, um, five volts, um, and then the FSR connects to the 
a resistor to ground, button resistor to ground, and they both go to a uh, signal pin. Your FSR goes to A2. So the FSR goes to A2. And then from A2 to positive. So I could write an Arduino program to measure that for me. I should probably just measure it here. So let's keep going. So, left button, right button, then this red wire. This red. Right here, that is labeled left LED ground. And then I believe it should be Right there is just the positive terminal. So let's see if I can be sure of that. I can measure the resistance on that one because we know that one works, unless it broke all of a sudden. Okay, so right now I'm measuring the resistance on on this uh, trigger, and it is. 13.17 kilo ohms. All right, so I've recorded that there. When I press down, it's gonna change. It's now 418 ohms when I'm pressing pretty hard. Now for this one, I've already suspected that this is the problem, and it's an issue with um, moving my wrist around. You can see there's like a kink in the wiring right there, and that's not good. So I'm betting that's where the break in the wiring is. But just to be sure, let's measure the ohms. Okay. So that's kind of the same thing, 13.15, 13.16, just about. And then when I press it, what happens? Nothing happens when I press it. Oh, and you know what? I bet it is broken. And that resistance isn't the unpressed resistance of the FSR. So look, in a circuit, everything is connected, right? So. If I'm measuring the resistance across this FSR, so from this point to this point, right there, then I'm measuring the resistance between that point, not just current running through this FSR, but current running through all the way through this Arduino, and in addition to that, through this resistor and the battery, which is across here or kind of across there. This power comes from the Arduino's voltage regulator. So that 13.17 kilo ohms unpressed, that's just the resistance of like this entire circuit. So I remember that because when before when I measured the resistance of this FSR when it was unpressed, it was basically infinite. So it was basically not connected at all. Um, but then when I pressed it, there would be some resistance. So. That makes sense. That means the FSR is probably disconnected. Why don't we, kind of afraid to, but why don't we cut open uh, this heat shrink tubing and see if there's any broken wiring. So I cut open the wire and you can see that blue one is completely detached. Interrupt this message to give a special thanks to the patrons of this channel. The masterful, the masterful Mustafa, Mustafa Sayed, Sayed, the presidential, the presidential Peter, West, Peter West, the sensational, the sensational Spider, Spider Kid, Kid, the sophisticated, the sophisticated Spider, Spider Supreme, Supreme, the talented, the talented Tyler, Tyler, the keen the Caleb, Caleb Choice, Choice, and the and just, just Jessica, Jessica Wolf. Wolf. I would now like to give a special shout out to WCIS exclamation mark times three, the arachnid, for giving me this special new avatar. Now back to the video. 
So it's good I did that so I can see. I should probably figure out a way to fix that. All right, this is a real shame because both of these wires are completely detached. I just need to reattach them. However, this means that it'll always be weaker there. So I need a plan. I think I may put more heat shrink tubing on, but I think that putting puffy paint in there and letting that dry out, I think that's the best way to, to seal it up and make sure it's secure. Okay, so I've stripped both sets of wires. The good news is it doesn't matter which way I connect them because it's just a resistor. Variable resistor, but it's still a resistor. So I'm gonna solder all four of them and then uh, hopefully I can attach them. All right, so just I'm gonna put a little solder on this one, and a little solder on that one. For the glove part, put a little solder on this one, and that one. I'm gonna put some Shrink tubing. Just a little bit like that. I just broke my wire clippers. Look at that. Alright, well I got the piece. Alright. Cool. Sad. Moment of truth. God, they're so small. Okay, that's the first one. the heat shrink tubing down over it. Let's get the other wire. All right. So the wire should be connected now. Just do a quick check. Of course, everything is messed up but maybe okay so here's the power button so this is this okay that still works and then you press polymer on the right and then Oh, that works. It works super well. Fantastic. The next step is to make sure this doesn't happen again. Now, if I were you guys, I would design your triggers with not the wires running across the wrist like I have it, because that is a dangerous game. It can lead to breakage like this, and that's what led to this. So. I can't really do that with this. Um, I'm kind of stuck. So I think I might have to just try to make it as secure as possible. First, I'm just gonna put some puffy paint on the inside because this stuff can be a pretty good sealant when you want it to be. Two. 
the less space there is for things to move around, the better. You don't want spaces on the inside because then you end up with uh, breakage points, possible breakage points. I'm going crazy with the paint. <laughs> I'm gonna wait till morning for that to dry. And then when it's dry, I'll continue. 24 hours later. All right, so I have successfully secured both the left and the right triggers. And as you can see, I was able to retract the string, which means that we are in business.